Ladies and gentlemen, we've heard a lot from a lot of people about the play of Jordan Love. And it seems like everybody's got an opinion, right? But I try to pay attention to the dudes who played in the league, maybe played for the Packers, maybe played with, say, Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, someone like, oh, Donald Driver, who had an interview with Fox News about various things. And one thing was about the play of Jordan Love. I think Jordan Love is the future. That's Donald Driver. And I want to read this. It's a little it's a little lengthy, but I think it's I, I want to get it on the record, so to speak, on the podcast, etc. Here's Donald Driver. The thing that people don't understand, let's go back to when Aaron stepped in 2008 to take over the Packers offense. Aaron had the best receiving core in the National Football League. You stepped in when we had just lost the NFC Championship game. Brett retires. You step in. Well, guess what? All your weapons are still there. That's much easier when you have a group like that. Jordan Love is starting over. That's fresh. All those guys are young. There's no veteran guy in that locker room to lead the charge. And Jordan is young as well. This is a young team, but a team that can grow. I think Jordan Love is the future. It's going to take some time for him to get his feet behind him. And I think at the end of the day, he's going to be good. That's a direct quote from Donald Driver, the leading all-time receiver for the Green Bay Packers. I mean, make of it what you will. But it's something to be noted, I think. Donald Driver, gassing up Jordan Love. The man knows football. I mean, I do Can't think, say he doesn't. you know, I, I do think watching Jordan play that he's probably the one bright spot on the team right now, for sure. I mean, like, yeah, he makes some mistakes, but I'm not down on him like I am on our offensive line or our red receivers or our Joe right. Barry or, you know, anybody else. Like, or he's way else. down on the list. He's way down on the list. Like, if you go 53 plus the coaches, Jordan loves, like, yeah. I don't know, 42? I don't know. Something low. He's low on my I list. Yep. So it makes no, sense. I, I mean, you. you know, Jordan Love is a Rorschach test for Aaron Rodgers, right? And until we get past a couple seasons and get some stuff, yep. it's always going to be that way. And just like yep. Aaron Rodgers was a Rorschach test for uh, Brett Favre, and now that's three weeks I've used Rorschach tests, and I don't even know what it – I know what it is, but I, I've used it a lot <laughs> without really having a clear grasp of uh, – I know, oh, I know it was well. a test, and I know well. they showed, like, ink blots and that's a that's i said that's they, where they my did. knowledge and they asked what you saw and that's what people are doing with jordan loves play they're what they see can be different from fan to fan or you know even player to player or coach to coach but but like think, you, you know, know the other it, thing it, is the other thing with what donald driver said is that like oh, you're watching the miami dolphins like i was watching miami play some stuff and you just do kind of feel mm -hmm. like coach is not i just feel like Coach isn't really doing these guys a lot of favors, you know, and I feel like we're trying to do a lot yeah. of things that, you know, you, it, it's like I, it's like it's like we're not we're not really I don't know. We said this like three weeks ago, so I, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but it's like we're not really making the plays for the players we have, I feel like, you know, and it, it's not I even a simplification thing necessarily, but like it just feels like we're trying to do what coach wants as opposed to. You know, there's two kinds of coaching, right? There's here's where I want us to be uh, versus mm. here are the players I have and how I, I make the players I have perform at a high level, right? And I and I just feel mm. like it's more of the former and less of the latter. And, you know, I maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No, I see. I get the same kind of idea as well when I watch this team. And it does feel like, and I said, I talked to Camille about this on Carry the G and MKE. Uh, just a little bit ago, which you can find here on the YouTube channel, it does feel as though there's no way this team gets better unless the players play better to a man because the approach doesn't look like it's going to be changing from the coaching staff. And that's what we were talking about just now on the defense, right? Like, this is the way they're going to play and call plays on defense, much the same way it is on offense. Like, to your point, I do think it, there's a there's a there's so much like static spread stuff it's like mike mccarthy never left at times and i'm just like that's what you want to do you want to utilize all these guys in the field at the same time when they can barely work out their spacing correctly like we but we do it again and again and again and again week after week after week after week so at some point i guess the idea is well the light's gonna come on eventually that's what it feels that's what it feels like the approach is so yeah i'm with you man I'm 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 very much with you on that. 